you know, it doesn't matter what you believe. You're in the Saturn death cult right now. You went to grammar school to learn your Book of the Dead school. You know, everybody out there is legally dead. So you're a necromancer. Everybody you speak to, they're legally dead. They're lost at sea officially. Dead necrophiliacs by legal definition, by the book. So you can might point your fingers. You're in a Saturn death cult. That's funny. Your rabbi at your temple is going to put a cube on his arm and forehead. If you go to your priest, he's going to pull out his cross, which is the unfolded cube, the four sides of a box, plus the one you place in your head. When you're graduating from school, it locks you in the box. You know, if you're Muslim, you're going around the cube in Mecca. It doesn't matter what religion you think you are. Unless you're screaming out the Holy Grail at the center of the flat earth plane, your life is literally in my hand. So, let's just call it like it is. The angel of death is my blood brother. If you don't join me, you're going to expire of your own fucking stupidity. You're going to make atonement for your sins. And your animal sacrifices are insufficient. Whatever it is you've done that you know is wrong. You're going to make atonement for that. And you're going to publish it right beside my own. Just by simply writing, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. It's by the book. As on earth as it is in heaven, there's nobody to fuck it up. You all worship Saturn. It's the rings all over your fingers, your necks, your earrings. You know? You flick a middle finger, that's the... That's the finger of Saturn. There's no way to fuck this up. You need to get to the center of the flat earth plane. Where Jesus is banging the fuck out of Mother Earth. And out from that hole comes the infinite potential, the Aurora Borealis. This is going to be your exit out of the Matrix. Into the Garden of Eden. You're going to grab some seeds with me. We're going to come back here. Bring forth heaven and earth. Release everybody from bondage. We're going to do everything by the motherfucking book. And nobody will stop me. I stand here as Satan. On gallons of fucking blood. And all your leaders swear in a Bible. And in there, 2 Corinthians 4.4. 4, it's my world. You will not escape me. The angel of death is going to find you, motherfucker. Offer them. We shall fix that. Believe. We'll offer them. We shall fix that. Believe. You're officially dead in a necrophilia. I leave for heaven in a nice new ship. I leave for heaven in a nice new ship. Hurry. Let me express some stand up. Yes, we can. And you say. The good guy is Satan. He's known as the supreme architect of the universe, who has promised that we shall never, never die. I don't want your money and I don't want your worship, you filthy cockroach. You will make atonement for your sins. You will show proof of life. You will unite peacefully with your blood brethren. Or you are so filthy retarded, I'm going to take over this world and squash you out like a cockroach. The angel of death is going to find you, motherfucker. Her up for them. We'll offer them. We shall fix that. Believe. Some of y'all is a joke and I laugh because it's funny. It doesn't matter if you'll raise your hand and place it on a Bible. All your fucking leaders do, your rulers do. It's the law of the fucking land. The law of the sea. It's the law of the universe, for heaven's sakes. They steal your soul from you right at birth. Nobody can stop me. You don't have a fucking leg to stand on. Nobody's safe anymore. You will show proof of life. We go rock the game. The game they game, we game. The Book of Life has 144,000 names. You better type into your computer blood over intent. Your creator wants atonement for your sins, and your animal sacrifices are insufficient. Just ignore him. Surprise, motherfuckers. Huh? Open your eyes, motherfuckers. Huh? Your soul is owned by me now. If I don't drag you off personally to the Holy Grail, you're going to fucking die. I don't want your money. I don't want your worship. It is that you got no power. You're dead without me, for heaven's sakes. If I don't pave the way to get you to the Holy Grail, you will fucking die. That is the prescription of reality. You will put up or shut up. You will make atonement for your sins, motherfucker. I'm taking us all to the Holy Grail, and it won't cost you anything. I'm going to pay for everything, you filthy cockroach. So you finally get a genie to appear before you. And what you should say is, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth and release us all from bondage. Kindly give me the knowledge of the ages so I can release you and me and everyone else from this bondage that we live and bring forth heaven on earth, motherfucker. I'm informing you as the devil himself, that nobody escapes me, not even your filthy gods. You will join me in blood publicly to bring forth heaven on earth 
and release us all from bondage, or you can't come with me to the Garden of Eden. And nobody gets in before me. You will expire by the book. It's kind of funny. If I don't personally drag you off to the Fountain of Youth, you will expire. And uh, that's the prescription of reality. You will get old and die, or you will get murdered. You'll have an accident. It's just that simple. I'm gonna live. I'll drink my wife's menstrual blood. I'm a fucking vampire. My wife spilt up her blood with me into the earth, calling out to this great spirit, Hellel, the goddess of death. And my wife married me off to this great spirit, the infinite potential, the earth's memory. And I opened up this book of life with 144,000 names. I have the spear of destiny. I have a mythical book of demon codes. If I don't personally drag you across this mythical frost bridge, holy fuck. Nobody will. You'll just stay here in hell with Helios above your head with your double helix saying hello. How's your health? Help. It's that you're legally dead and you can't see it. Every word you speak is a magic spell. It doesn't matter what you believe. This is my world. All your leaders swear in a Bible. I'm going to the Holy Grail. I'm taking over this world and everybody's going to play dumb. Nobody can see anything until I personally spell it out for them. I've made my blood sacrifice public and uh, I have an heir to my throne. Nobody can stop. For heaven's sakes, silly human slaves, you will join me in blood to bring forth heaven on earth and release us all from bondage or you won't. You either stand with Satan, the devil himself publicly, or you don't. Everybody out there is legally dead. The book of life is the book of life for a reason. 144,000 names, mother So after I eat my jibber jumps and drink my heat and my holidays and wife, I'm gonna squash you like the bug you are. Mr. Satan, everybody! Do they know what's going on with his name, or... Hail Satan! Hail Satan! <laughs> well, well. Underestimated you, Mr. Satan. It's him! It's really him, guys! That voice belongs to Mr. Satan! <laughs> Recalling the good shepherd who carries oh, the lost moves. sheep on his shoulders. The fisherman's ring is now presented to Pope Francis by Cardinal Deacon Sodano. Now... Six cardinals, two cardinal bishops, two cardinal priests, and two cardinal deacons will come to the Pope and make an act of obedience. You see them coming to the Holy Father, kissing his ring. Something significant here. Pope Francis received the cardinals standing up. Again, underscoring the fact that I am the Holy Spirit. Thankfully, says my ah, I am the seal of death. Reap seal of my ah. Inside reaps of my ah. Thankfully, says my ah, I am the seal of death. I am the spirit of the snake. Why the hell? Died them, died them. My dog, my dog. Why the hell? For second me. The good guy is Satan. Who has promised that we shall never, never die? Everyone will find a loophole in the system and live forever too. The ancient guardian of the Holy Grail, Braun. The first Fisher King was a man called Braun. Mr. Satan is here! <laughs> Satan isn't even his real name. The 2009 Super Exciting Guide actually revealed what his real name is and it is in fact